Before I go and run my mouth on the internet, I generally fact check the things that I talk about. Mac here tells me that I am outdated and I need to do further research and uses a PubMed article to tell me how I should educate myself. So I pull up the PubMed article where I'm told I need to educate myself on, on the active folate versus folic acid discussion. On first glance, this could look legit. It's published in a medicine journal. This person has some sort of degree. There's a lot of fancy words. If you wouldn't know better, you should say, sure, yeah, this makes sense. The first thing that stands out to me is that someone with a master's degree is singularly writing an article. Most scientific literature has multiple experts included in their discussions. The next thing I notice is that this is written in a non-scientific voice. Scientific papers generally don't say, I endeavor to clearly identify the difference. We let the science speak for itself. We don't have to say what I'm trying to convince you of. And this is the part that tells me that this is a planted paper to convince you to buy something. Because why are they talking about a specific supplement that is proven to be better than folic acid? It's because the singular person who wrote this article is the project manager for the company that makes a product that they're trying to sell you. Oh look, here's the product that they're trying to sell you through their scientific paper. So no, I'm not gonna stop running my mouth on the internet because you found a scientific paper that was planted to sell you something because pregnant people deserve to have the real information when making decisions about their health and their pregnancies. 